Hi, my name is Eric Schultz. I'm a 1992 graduate of Sauk Prairie High School. Um, after high school, I went to uh, University of Wisconsin La Crosse and studied music education. I wanted to be a choir teacher. Um, and uh, honestly, uh, found myself in music because uh, it was the one thing I felt I was kind of good at. Um, and uh, studied music in college and uh, unfortunately kind of fell out of love it, with it. Um, during that experience and uh, dropped out of college, moved to Wisconsin Dells and uh, found myself for the next 22 years working in, uh, in hotels. Um, I started as a uh, bartender at Great Wolf Lodge in 1998. And um, about 20 years later, I left the general manager uh, running the resort. Um, through this time, I, uh, I found myself back into music. Um, in, uh, in 2012 uh, really was kind of the spark that brought me back when I had the opportunity to perform in Aspire. And um, you know, since then have gotten more and more involved in the last 10 years, um, doing, uh, playing in a couple of different bands and um, doing some uh, solo and acoustic stuff and, uh, and duets. In 2018, I had the opportunity to go back to school and uh, finish my degree. And uh, in May of 2019, I'm a graduate of the University of Wisconsin La Crosse uh, with a degree in music performance. And um, actually, tomorrow, uh, I begin a, a new chapter in my career where I'll be teaching sixth grade music here in Reedsburg. I'd have to say my favorite, uh, most memorable experience on stage happened in, in 2017. Um, had the opportunity to travel to New York City as um, part of an alumni choir with the University of Wisconsin La Crosse and, and join uh, Dr. Gary Wolf, who was um, my choir director in college, and, and he was in New York performing a clinical with the Manhattan Concert Series. And so he took his current um, concert choir uh, out and invited an alumni choir. And then there were actually two high school choirs that were part of this as well, one from Nebraska and one from Texas. And um, so we spent three days um, uh, performing uh, or working through the clinical and the final performance was held in Carnegie Hall. And um, just to set foot on the stage in Carnegie Hall in and of itself was, was incredible and amazing. And uh, one of the songs that we performed was um, the spiritual, He Never Failed Me Yet. And I had a, a small solo in the song and um, I, I'm just gonna guess that the solo was probably 15 seconds long. Um, but for 15 seconds of my life, my voice was the only one uh, that everybody in Carnegie Hall heard. And um, you know, I don't, uh, I don't lose sight of the magnitude of that. And uh, just uh, an experience I'm so proud that I had the opportunity to be part of and uh, definitely one that will stick with me for the rest of my life. In the summer of 1995, um, I had the opportunity to perform at Valley Fair Amusement Park in Shakopee, Minnesota. I had auditioned to be in, in the rock show and um, was cast in Red Hot Country. I do not like country music at all, um, but found myself singing six shows a day, six days a week uh, for the entirety of the summer. And um, probably the most embarrassing moment for me was uh, sometime in the middle of the summer, it was probably mid to late July. And, and I'm, I'm guessing we had done a couple hundred performances at that point. And um, some college classmates of mine were in the audience. And part of the show was a Garth Brooks medley and I had the solo for Friends in Low Places, a song that I had sung a couple hundred times in a row that summer and everybody knows the words to it. And as soon as the song started, completely blanked on the lyrics and uh, pretty much watermeloned my way through uh, a show that was not only full of, of um, you know, guests in the park, uh, but a handful of people that um, let me know about it when I was done. So. You know, I think if I had the opportunity to go back and to, to talk to my, um, I'll say my high school self, um, there's a few things that I would um, really try to, to embrace. And, and first and foremost is get involved in music sooner. Um, I was a late bloomer. I, uh, I didn't join 
the music program till I was a junior in high school. And so um, as a junior, I sang in the freshman choir uh, in high school, um, but uh, you know, was, was part of the executive session my junior and senior year. Um, I regret passing up the opportunity to be involved uh, in music earlier in high school. And then, uh, you know, I think as, as I was approaching graduation, no idea what I wanted to do um, with my career, what I wanted to, to study in college. And, and quite honestly, um, you know, landed in music because it was the one thing that I was pretty good at and felt like, well, then this is what I should do is, is study music. And, um, you know, what I, what I learned over the next few years in college is that while I had, um, I think, a, 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 some raw talent, I guess, if you want to call it that, what I lacked is discipline. And, um, and that's what got me into trouble in college is, um, you know, I didn't put in the time, the effort um, to practice and, um, you know, started to kind of lose the love for it because I couldn't perform um, at the level that I, that I wanted to or that I thought I should be able to. Um, and it was strictly because I, I didn't put the time in, in to do it. And, um, you know, through certainly through the course in life, um, you know, I've achieved a lot of what I have professionally. And, um, and even now musically by putting in the hours and, and um, asking the questions and, you know, having higher expectations myself. And, um, and unfortunately, it took me a long time to get there uh, as an adult. And if I had the opportunity to, to kick myself in the pants uh, about 30 years ago, I'd, I'd definitely do it. I think the greatest impact um, that being part of the Sauk Prairie music program had on my life. And, and honestly, it took a lot of years to, to resonate with me um, was uh, was painted on the wall in the choir room when I was there in, in the early nineties. Um, and that was the, the poem risk. And, um, you know, I think it is something that um, especially as I've gotten older, I've realized how important it is to, um, to put yourself out there at times. You know, I, I perform um, with a good friend of mine, Nick Winkler, and uh, we do a lot of acoustic shows now. I'm proud to be part of a band with, with my buddies in, in Cougar Wagon. And we play uh, a lot of classic rock shows, and I don't think that uh, I would have had the opportunity to, to meet those guys and, and um, you know, be in the position that I'm in musically now without, um, you know, taking that initial leap. Um, you know, certainly having... Uh, mentors like Karen Luer and, and Sue Holloway, um, you know, in, in kind of those formative years for me musically, um, you know, played a tremendous impact on me. And, and I think back to the time that I spent with them, and I feel like I learned more about life uh, and more about, um, you know, setting expectations for yourself, um, you know, not being afraid to fail and, and taking chances. I, I learned as much uh, about that kind of stuff from, from those two women as, as I ever did musically. Um, and they were both brilliant musicians too. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm very proud to, to say that I'm, I'm part of the, the Sauk Prairie music program. Um, you know, it's in my roots and uh, it's something that, uh, you know, that I definitely have appreciated through the years.